Monarch and Copilot both promise to organize and track your financial data, but which one is best? Well, to answer that, I put them both through a competition of seven different criteria. So let's see how they did. Right from the start, in order to get both apps to work, you need to connect your bank account or credit card. And they both use a service called Plaid to do that. If you used Venmo before, you've used Plaid. Monarch lets you use multiple service providers besides just Plaid. You can also use MX or FinCity. Copilot does not. And you're probably thinking, well, hold up. I got to add my credit card and bank account information. Is this safe and private? And the answer is yes. Both of them use bank level security. Both have never been breached or hacked. And both of them make money using uh, subscriptions instead of selling private data. So you're in the clear. Once your accounts are linked, it's going to pull that information into your dashboard. As you can see on the left hand side for both um, apps, it's going to be the main tabs. They're going to be on the top if it's for your phone or iPad. And on the right side is going to be a summary of those tabs in more graphical form. Now the overall look and feel of both apps, if you're a big fan of uh, Apple, like the Copilot makers are, you're going to enjoy the experience of Copilot. Monarch is more functional and it gets right down to business, while Copilot has a more of a curated, intuitive approach. With that in mind, you can customize your dashboard in Monarch. You can't do that in Copilot. The heart of both apps is the Transactions tab. This shows every transaction you make, whether a credit card or bank account, etc. And it organizes it based on date, by the category, and by the account, and also shows the amount. So the way it categorizes things for both apps is it's done automatically. And they're pretty good at doing that. I'd say they're 90 to 95% right. However, sometimes it's wrong. So like for this one here where it's listed as a coffee shop, I can just click on it and change it. And as you can see, it pops up. If this is gonna be something that's always occurring, you can set up a rule and the rule will make it so every time that merchant or transaction or any of these things here happen, it'll automatically recategorize it to the correct one. Now, the good thing about Monarch is, as you can see, it has multiple different criteria to match the transaction, and then you could also do some multiple updates with it. On Copilot, it doesn't do that. You can only match on the uh, merchant's name and change the uh, category for that merchant. You can't do any of these things here on the right. Okay, so not every transaction is a one-off, right? Sometimes it's reoccurring, like your streaming apps that occur every month, etc. So they both have a recurring tab, and it showcases all the uh, transactions that happen monthly. The cool thing is, it does this automatically, but as you can see, it wants me to review one of my merchants to see if it's uh, reoccurring. So I already grabbed one, that's Patreon, and it wants me to review another one, and I can say, yes, this is, or this is not. So Monarch is going to take the lead here again, because not only does it show a list of all your reoccurring transactions, it also puts them in a nice, cool monthly view. I think this is much easier to see what transactions you have coming up for the month, right when the first of the month happen. Okay, so all this information is being shown kind of more of in a list form, right? Well, you can see how your cash flow is doing in a more of a graphical form. So if you go to cash flow, both of them have this. It'll show you on a graph using uh, the time and dates, as well as this overall summary for the month, as well as these uh, bar charts as well. Both of them have this. Uh, the one thing I like about Monarch is it allows you to filter down into different accounts and based on these different tags. Both have tags, but you can't do the filtering on a tag on Copilot. I understand you're probably using these apps because they have goals, right? Whether it's buying a car, buying a house, or just building an emergency phone, right? Well, both of them also have a goal area, and you could create multiple goals. So I created one here for my emergency fund. As you can see, it shows what contributions are attached to it, what overall transactions, as well as what I budgeted for my contributions, and the target amount, which I have is $6,000. The cool thing about Monarch is, that Copilot doesn't have, is you can set a priority of goals. So if you have more than one, you can say which ones are the top priority. One of the biggest goals everybody has is your retirement, right? Hopefully we can all retire one day and no longer work. Uh, for the investment, Copilot wins this one. They do just a better job at getting all your information on one page and it's easier to digest and see what's going on. They even show your biggest gains per day at the top of the page at the, as the cherry on top. Another advantage Copilot has over Monarch is 
Copilot would link to more than just Coinbase for crypto exchanges. If crypto is important to you, you might want to look into Copilot more. Okay, so I know I just gave you a lot of information in a short amount of time. So I just want to take a moment to let you know that this video is not sponsored by either app. And I have a link down in my description for the current promos that each app is running. With Monarch, you can get a seven day free trial and 50% off your first year. While Copilot will double your free trial from 30 to 60 days using my promo code. And if you also want to like and subscribe, I appreciate that as well. Okay, so let's move on to the next tab, which is budgets. They both have a budget system. Both are similar where they allow you to set up a budget and track your progress with it. They also allow it so where if you have any remaining funds, those funds will be rolled over to the next month. The difference becomes is how they actually categorize your budgets. So Monarch changed recently where instead of doing things based on categories, that's the way Copilot does it. They now do it where you have three buckets. You have your fixed budget, you have your fixed budget, your flexible budget, and your non-monthly. Fixed is basically like your rent and mortgage, things that happen every month that don't change. Flexible is things that are changing every month, like how much you spend for groceries. Unfortunately, they keep going up, right? And non-monthly is things that occur every few months or now and then. Think if you pay your car insurance every three months, that would be one or a one-time gift. One thing I like about Monarch, besides doing the three buckets, they also have a forecasting button that allows you to see how well you're doing in the future. One of the biggest features that I love about Monarch is, is the reports feature. Monarch lets you view your cash flow using uh, the totals at the top, and they have this awesome fan favorite Sinky diagram. People love this graph, and I like it too. They also let you view your spending in graphical form, broken down by the category, as well as your income. Those are the main features for both apps, but I want to talk about now these bonus features that I think are also really important. So the first one up is their sharing. Both of them allow you to share your account with other people, but Monarch gives each person their own login and password. Copilot just gives everybody the same login. The next one up is AI. They both are starting to slowly integrate AI. Luckily, they didn't just throw it in there. Copilot just doesn't really have one at all. They just use AI, they say, to categorize all your transactions. But Monarch has one where you could actually ask it questions like, how much did you spend on coffee last month? The next one up is viewing your credit score right on your dashboard. You can do this in Monarch, but you can't do this in Copilot. This also is bank level secure and it uses Equifax and it doesn't pull any kind of credit check. Let's talk about now how you can actually use these apps. Monarch is available only for US and Canadian customers and it's available on both Android and iPhones as well as Windows and Mac. Copilot is much more limited because they're only available to US customers and customers using Apple devices. You can't use this on an Android or a Windows device or even Chrome. On the app stores, Monarch has 4.9 stars out of 65,000 reviews. Copilot has 4.8 stars out of 25,000 reviews. This is showing that both obviously aren't perfect with five stars. So if you're having any kind of problems, how do you reach out to one of these companies for help? Well, both of them have right in the app a way to contact customer support. They both want you to kind of go through an AI assistant first or use their help center, but you can just ask them to uh, talk to a person and you could get a hold of one. The biggest question you're probably asking is, what about the price, right? For Copilot, it costs you $100 a year or 80 with a 60 day free trial using my promo code. Monarch is about $100 as well, or you can get it for only $50 if you use my link down in the description and you also get a free seven day trial. Well, that's my video. I hope it was helpful for you. Thank you for watching and best of luck.